Simon, first of all, what's the mood amongst the group? You get a quality meal on the weekend, and it seems like um, it's a really good vibe at the moment. Yeah, obviously there's a great connection amongst our playing group and I think you saw on the weekend there was a lot of uh, grittiness and resilience about the way we played and um, that's definitely fueled a lot of belief in our playing group. You know, I think any time you can do that on the road against a high quality opposition, it's going to build belief and um, at the moment our boys have great trust in one another. Um, but that's just a starting point for us. We know there's still things in our game where we've got to get better, but right now there's a high connection, high resilience in our group, and you know, it's coming out of the way we're playing. This little away trip could have been seen as a challenge, but it seems like something maybe could even galvanise the group. It seems like everyone's climbing together well. Oh, we looked at this part of our draw as an opportunity. Um, you know, it's not too often you get to come on the road for a, a week together um, and build that connection, build that unity, and play two high quality opposition. <laughs> You know, on their home ground. So when the draw came out, we didn't look at this as a, a tough patch. We looked at this as an opportunity to get better as a footy club. And um, you know, this is the second second part to that. You know, we had a good result on the weekend, but we know we play another high quality opposition in Adelaide on their home ground where they play some exceptional footy. So our job's part done. Um, but you know, we've got another another opportunity this week. Did you Adelaide start the second? Oh, look, like every team, the competition's so tight, it's so tough. They've been in every game. Um, what we do know is they're a high quality side, they're at their best, um, they play some elite football and that's what we'll be preparing for. Um, it's never as good or never as bad as you think in, in our industry. Um, so we're expecting them to come out, they're a proud footy club, they're good at what they do and we're going to have to play well. Isn't that Simon, you know better than most, the, I guess the environment the Crows work in, the boom or bus type thing, does that put you on edge given their, their results so far this year? Oh, not really. We just focus on us. You know, that's our, that's our primary thing. Focus on our group, our performance, the way we prepare, um, knowing that the opposition are a high quality side and um, we always prepare for their best. So I'm not too interested in predicting things. I'm just preparing our players for what the best might look like and the type of game it might look like and how we might have to play. So um, we're excited by the opportunity to play a good side on their home ground. Um, for the second week in a row. Stephen May moving pretty well for some of your broken ribs? He is, he's going really well. So um, we'll test him out fully on Wednesday, but we're certainly very confident that and expect him to be available. Um, but we won't take a risk, so we'll see how he's on Wednesday. Um, but we'll certainly make sure that he's ready to go, but everything's trending towards that, that side. Has that surprised you? Oh, nothing surprises me with Steve. Um, that's the type of player he is. He's a high competitor and right from the moment it happened, um, he was keen to get himself going as quickly as possible. Um, and you know, he's in a great position today. He's feeling healthy, he's feeling free in his movement, um, but he won't know right till, till Wednesday whether he's right to play. Uh, I saw Clary have another hand on his hand yesterday. Is that just the plan to just sort of monitor him week by week? Yeah, look, he's had a little bit of a finger issue the last couple of weeks, so we're continuing to monitor that. It was a precautionary scan. Um, he's actually pulled up through the game really well, so um, you know, he, there's no doubt that he'll play on Thursday night, which is great for us, but it's something we'll continue to monitor. Yeah, that was a good... Richard, good to be sore out there today. Just standard sores? Well, I think if anyone saw the game on the weekend, we had a few sore boys today. So, um, very light session, and that's no, not unusual for Christian to early in the week be out of training. So, um, you know, he's an important player to us, so yeah, he'll be fine. Chairman, also didn't train with the main group, is he okay? Yeah, look, he's pulled up well. He obviously had a little bit of a medial knee last week and again came off during the game. So, he's someone we'll assess on Wednesday. It's so early in the week on a short turnaround to make, get a handle on everyone. Uh, but we've got some decisions to make around, obviously, May Chandler. Um, who was the other one we just spoke about? Petrarca. No, he's not. He's not. It's <laughs> an issue. Uh, ben Brown, the son. Yeah, look, he, he's an ongoing. He's had a, a knee issue for four or five years. So, um, obviously, on a short turnaround, we'll wait right up until Wednesday to assess him as well. Does it help we've got the bye coming up in a couple of weeks and sort of go full throttle into that, knowing there's a rest coming up? Yeah, look, we knew that this, you know, this chunk of games was a, a big patch of footy for us. Um, and you know, we wanted to get it right as a footy club and, and use that as an opportunity to get better. Um, clearly, those things are down the road. We're not really putting too much focus in them now. We're just focused purely on Adelaide this week. So, um, yep, that's down the road, that part, but this part's about getting this next four or five days right. Just going back to the Crows, probably you know, a lot of things I struggle with is execution and, and turning over the ball, particularly going inside 450. 
When, can, can you can you exacerbate those issues for a side? Is there a way when a side's struggling like that to really buy into that? Is it just about ramping up the pressure? Oh, so that's how we want to play. Normally we want to defend in a really positive way and we want to put pressure on the ball where we can. So um, that's the way we play as a team. So hopefully when we come up against the Crows, that's the type of game they're going to get. The one that's, you know, a game where they see a team that defends to a really high level, that has great contest work and great pressure. And, you know, we know if we can do that in any game of footy, that'll put us in a game for success. And um, that's what we'll be aiming to do on Thursday night. Got plenty of boys in the when you have downtime, everyone's away from home, they sort of leading everyone around and showing all the... Yeah, it's interesting. We have got a lot of Adelaide boys in our team. And, um, you know, like yesterday, we had an Easter egg hunt with our families and, and people that have travelled over with us to their kids down at Glenelg Beach. And you can see the pride of someone like an Alex Neil Bullen who's taken the boys rather than the pier to the jetty um, in Adelaide um, to have an Easter egg hunt. And, you know, they love getting back to Adelaide. They enjoy it. You know, the families love coming back here and, um, and seeing their boys. So it's good to be around them for a week. Yeah, we've probably got about a group of eight to ten guys that have brought their whole families over with them, um, you know, which includes kids, and that's no different to what we would have had in, in Perth when we travelled away in 221 and also in the hub. So we're very used to that sort of process. Um, it actually aids in our connection and our unity and our ability to really be with one another for a period of time. So we've used that. Um, there are some guys obviously without families here, but we're having some, some dinners and, and getting together and uniting as a group. Do you lock Harry Petty in a hotel room while he's here? <laughs> Do you lock Harry Petty in a hotel room while he's here? Oh, no, he's, uh, he's loving his footy. He's loving his footy at Melbourne, and uh, that's where he's going to be. Just touch on the conversions on. I think spoke after the game about the work that Charlie's been putting in. Is there anything different that you've done? Uh, and are you confident that you've turned a corner? Because obviously it hit you a bit last year. Yeah, look, as I said, post-game, our, our goal-kicking last year, for the majority of the year, we were sitting up you know, quite high in goal-kicking stats. Um, it's one where you've just got to continue the process and continue the program that you've got. And you know, Mark Williams has designed that. And we put a lot of time into it um, over a long period of time now. And hopefully what we'll start to see is some rewards as you go. But goal kicking is one of those things that you're not going to get it right every time you play, but you want to start steering it in your favour. So uh, we give it a lot of time in our program. Um, we stick to it. Um, we think we're in the right direction with it. But... It's never a finished product. What are you going to do about Jack Billings? It's like, is it a demon? Obviously, huge in round one, but a bit quiet by his stance the other one. Yeah, look, really positive. You know, he's, um, you know, he's really developing into the player that we want him to play. Um, the only reason he got subbed out in the game on the weekend was due to getting some fresh legs on the ground. You know, he's um, you know, playing that role in Adelaide. Adelaide was a, a tough role to play, so uh, we acknowledge that. But he's, he's been first class and he's buy into what we do and also his performance in the first you know, three games that he's played for us has been really strong. Caleb wins, I kicked his first goal on Saturday. It's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. How's he for selling in? Oh, he's brilliant. You know, Caleb's continuing. We just keep giving him more and more responsibility in, in the way he goes about his business. But he's an exciting player. What I love about Caleb the most is his, his work defensively. Um, you know, his ability to, to chase down, tackle, get back, support our, our D50 is outstanding for a, you know, an 18-year-old. We gather around concept now in second year. Is it something that is exciting to be a part of, even though you're kicking it off early and you'll be out pretty early? Yeah, it's great. You know, obviously, we're the first game, but what you do know is that you get to showcase um, your football club. Um, and obviously, we're the first game of gather round where all eyes will be watching you know, that first tussle of the start of gather round. So we get to showcase our footy club and try and make our people proud to belong, which is, which is what we want to do. And, um, our responsibility is to come out and put on a really strong performance, but it's a, it's a great concept and great for the state.